and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and it's time to de-kit Zesty Wolf. The spare diamonds do need to go away. Um, he's all finished. He was a lovely, lovely painting to do over the month of December. I will be doing a framing for him. Um, but I need to wait for something to arrive. So I was going to use um, these bars from Ikea, Visback bars to hang him up. However, these are 40 centimetre ones, which would be great if I was hanging him this way. They would be a really, really nice fit. But because, of course, I want to hang him the right way up, I feel like this is just a little bit too big a gap. Um, on either side. I know it is only five centimetres but to me that feels a little bit too much. I think it's because these black clips that they use are very very close to the edge. So I'm going to order something similar um, that will work for hanging him up because I do have a space for him in my craft room. I have found a space where he can go, so I will be doing a framing of, framing of him when they arrive. But it's still time to put the diamonds away. If any of you have been following my other videos, you will know that I now have sorted out my round spares to the point I now only have two boxes, which is perfect. But the first thing I need to do is these are all grouped by colour and I found that easier to do um, the actual diamond painting but I do need to get these by number so that's 800s, 700s, uh, 900 I'm actually trying to put them in some sort of order so that's 3800, 3007, 915 Nine three eight, threes fours. So we'll pop that one just on the top because I do need to put some away. That's an empty one. Three ten. That one's actually empty, but that one's full. So I can take the sticker off this one. No longer required. And then three one seven. 400s, it's got some more 900s, 991, 959, 964, maybe I shouldn't have put these all in order so quick, they're all empty, 775 and 747, there we go, I'll put that on the top as well, so that's my diamonds in order, so I'll get my first box of spares and this goes up to 829. So I'll be able to put a fair few away. Now three tens, I know full well my three tens are already full. Yes, my three tens for rounds are already very full. I do have an extras, extras box. So this contains any sort of three tens or other diamonds that I am happy to share with others that may need them. All my three ten bags are full, so I'm just going to grab a pre-used baggie that I already have to pop all my three ten diamonds in. And then Let's see if this label will transfer it over. 310, and they can go in my to share with others slash giveaway box. While I'm here, I can see that I already have 317s in here. So I must have enough of those. So they only go into here if I have plenty in my spares. I only allow myself now to have, unless I'm doing a heaven and earth design with it, I only allow myself to have one bag of spares in my spares box. 
because frankly I just don't have the space for any more. There's also already a bag for 318. So let's pop that in. I need to make a list of these as well so that I can um, see if anybody needs any posting out. So 318. 414, do I already have a bag? Nope. Okay, let's put that to the side. Now I've grabbed the couple of 300s that could definitely go. And we'll go back to this box, 414. I do have some space in this. So we'll pop these in with. There is yeah, slightly different shade those, but not than all of them in the bag. There's actually a, a couple of different shades already so the ones I've added are very similar to ones that I've had before. I don't mind mixing shades in my bags um, because if I ever need any for a project I'm not likely to need many. I'm only likely to need some you know because I've been shorted for whatever reason and if I've been shorted then I don't tend to need many plus I will be tipping them out into um, a tray and I can just pick the best colour match out of the ones I've tipped into the tray. Right, I'm going to remove some pop sticker lids in bulk so I'm going to pop the 700s away. So next one is 747 which is here. Let's lift or try and lift the little card up so I know where I need to pop it back. 747 and just tip them in, flatten it down to squeeze the air out. Let's move that over and move on to the next one, 760. I'm liking how much room I have in these boxes now I've split them. These only contain my round diamonds now, so I'm grabbing a bag, I know it's the right bag. I know I'm, you know, I'm not grabbing a square bag, I'm grabbing rounds. Oh, I have a new colour for rounds, so let me put these pots away. It's like a, a mini break. Just getting the stickers off the bottles, and they're mainly coming off in one. Every now and then I catch it wrong, and it's coming off in two. So I have a bag here that has no diamonds in it already. So because I am going to be adding spares, what I do want to do is update my logbook to say that I have, I now have 761 in my spares. So if I go to my spares, 761. I have them in squares, but I don't have them in rounds. So what I need to do is tick for round. I now have some. Awesome. And then I'll fill these up. Any future ones that I add to, it won't matter. It's already been ticked. So if the bag's already got some in, then I already know I have some. Might not be a lot, but I have some. So 761. Oh, here's the big one now. 775. So 775. I have a few. This was the background on Zesty Wolf. So that's half a pot, or a bit more than half a pot. And there's a full pot. With one little one that didn't go in. So I've gone from having a little bit in the bottom of the bag to pretty much having a full bag. That is one healthy amount of spares. So let's take the stickers off of this one. There we go. 
Now the next one for 800 is 891. So for that I need my second box, which has the higher up 800s and all of my 3000s. Okay, so 800s, 891. 891. Do have some already. So that's already ticked in my list of diamonds that I have. So 891, 892. Only have a few, but I get to add quite a few more. There we go, 892. I do like these pots for deep kitting. I use um, round pots quite a bit. I think I do sway towards them quite often. Um, and I think it's because deep kitting is, is really so easy. Um, the thing I can sometimes prefer about other storage is, you know, that it may not take as much room as something with with the round bottles but 893 is a new one so 893 I didn't have in rounds but now I do so I can give those a tick filling up my options for spares on pretty much each and every time I'm painting that I do I always seem to be adding to my volume of diamonds that I have and the options that are available to me. Okay, 9.15. Seeing if I can just get it to just stand up just a little bit without me having to pull the whole thing out. So 9.15. Again, there's a couple of slight different shades in there, but you never know what shade you're going to need to match up to. So I just put them all in together and it all works. So 915, then I want 920, which I've already got. Throw my diamonds in. Once I have de-kitted this, I will only have one more diamond painting that is waiting for a D kit. I see that as a win because I did have three, so I'm more than halfway. Okay, 922, I've got another new one. So tick that as yes for rounds. And let's add that color to my collection as one I didn't have before take off my label because I don't need that anymore. 922, 938. I've got quite a few of those, but there's still room for more. And this, this colour in the painting, I think there was only about seven that we needed. But loads of, loads of extras in case anything happened. So we'll bob those away, 938, 959. So 959, these are the gorgeous blues. Bluey greens, gorgeous colours on the painting. I'm kind of sad to kit this one up, but I've still got a frame in to go when when the bars that I want do turn up. So 964, oh, we've got another new colour. So 964, we now have in rounds. We did have in squares, or I did have in squares. I've now got it in rounds as well. Expanding my collection. Take the stickers off. I like to take the stickers, I mean, I don't mind taking a couple of stickers off at once, but I do like as much as possible to take the stickers off as I go, because I do find it's quite a tedious job taking the stickers off. So by doing it for each pot that I de-kit, it sort of 
it takes the boring process out of it. There's been many times that I have um, done videos on a de-kitting, uh, not so much recently because I have changed changed my ways, but some of my earlier de-kittings quite early on um, I used to de-kit and then I used to leave it so that I still had to take all the stickers off and I'd do them off camera. Oh, that was the worst part of doing a de-kitting video. Um, was the afterwards when I take all the stickers off. So I started just taking them off while um, I'm doing the video because it, it just, you know, it doesn't take too long, but it's so much better. Okay, and lastly, 3825, that is also one that we didn't have in round, or I didn't have in round before, but I do now. So we'll pop a tick on that and put a little bit of colour in my bag. And there we go. Oh no, no we don't. 3825 has got two that have decided to stay in the bottom of the pot. Are you getting out? Okay, they don't, let's try that. There we go. They just decided they want to nestle in that pot for a little bit longer. They didn't want the de-kitting to be over, that's why. Okay, so 3825 goes away. That is... Oh, Sesty Wolf is de-kitted. Spares um, have been updated. My stickers have come out of my pouch at the same time as my log book. I actually ended up with my smaller rings coming out of the pouch as well, but that's fine. Washi tape. Oh, in fact, I need the log book out anyway, because Zesty Wolf is here. But what I do need to do, so I did actually fill some of this in when I did my logbook entry. I have already filled in when I started and when I finished this, how many colours, how many diamonds, um, the fact that it was round. The only thing I need to do is my final thoughts, which I will do, and I also need to put some pictures up there. Um, I just need to be able to print those out. So I will get those done. Um, and get my logbook updated with Zesty Wolf. But I think I do actually have um, one of the spares of the stickers that we sent with the kits. So I'm wondering whether it'd be nice to put them there or maybe whether to just stick the stickers on. I'm trying to think what else I may have left over. Um, I'm just having a quick flick through. We did put stickers on the canvas and there we go. That's them. The Zesty Wolf 30 by 40 by Add More Zest with Diamond Art Studio and that it's round diamonds. I think I'm going to put one of those with it as well. Uh, was there another sticker that we did? There was one. I think there was one that we did on the outside of the earlier Zesty Wolf paintings that were ordered. That's it. Kit up with us on the 20th of November. So that went on the outside of the parcel and I did do a stamp as well. So I'm wondering whether for Zesty Wolf, because he was one that we did um, for the purposes of, <coughs> because it's one that we sold, whether to actually include a little bit more of, of these things. Um, because why not? But I do want a picture of him as well. Let me let me go and print a picture or two out of him and let's let's fill in the log book for him now. 
Okay, that didn't take as long as I thought. So I've just printed off one of sort of Sesti Wolf um, and I've printed off one from when we announced Sesti Wolf. So it's got, it's got the trays and things as well. Now I've got no idea how I'm going to, I don't know whether I need to put the stickers in. I could potentially dot some about while I have it on this picture. And then this is the one that I want more. But then again, I could potentially, this is me now messing about with stickers, I could potentially still overlap the two of them if I do those like that and then maybe overlap those two. Okay. Let me pop those on that paper. Let's just start sticking. Why not? So put that one higher up so that I've got space for putting the rest. And then Put him close but a little bit lower down and then let's see if we can get a little bit of a couple of different angles for those two and then what I might do because I do have these is I might just put a 775 um, because that's the background colour so I'll just put the symbol for 775 or maybe I do the one the four and the seven as well because that came up so let's do that. Let's do the one, the four, the four and the seven, because it did come up sort of during the whip and chat. There we go. I like that. So we've got 775, which was the background. And then it did come up in the questions on the December Advent as to whether the numbers 147 being the only numbers was on purpose or not. It wasn't on purpose, it was a happy coincidence, but I think it needs to be there because I'm four kids at 147. I like that little arrangement. I like the fact that on some I can have a little bit more and it is the first one in my logbook um, because I've filled that space with it. So we've got Zesty Wolf, um, kept him, I've got all the details there for him and yeah I feel like I want to write quite a bit on this and I'm trying to think whether I'm best thinking and writing and then reading it out <sighs> yeah because if I say it as I'm writing it one it sounds really really weird <laughs> um, and second I'm more likely to spell something wrong because I'm thinking of the next word that I'm about to say. So I'm going to pause you again and then I'll read back what I said. So I took the paper out so that I could write all the way to the end without hitting the rings. Um, but I've just popped that Zesty Wolf was the painting completed during my December Advent 2021 on YouTube. Um, I'm so grateful that Diamond Art Studio UK agreed to work with us so the image could be done by many. Each year more and more people seem to join in the advent from the 1st to the 24th of December. What a successful third year it has been. So that's what I've put now. I don't know whether I'm going to add any more but I do have a couple of lines to add some more there and I've also got some final thoughts there in case something hits me uh, but I'm sort of in video mode rather than writing mode which is what often happens but I love I love the display of multiple pictures on that one and stickers as well I think it's always fun to be able to bring that extra little bit of variety but Zesty Wolf is in he does need framing, but he's in the logbook. He's de-kitted. I don't know how official that makes him, um, but he's in the logbook. He's de-kitted. And yeah, kind of makes me, 
you know, at the point where I really can't wait until it until it becomes next year. Uh, but we've got June in between, so June will keep me going um, for a waffle. But I'm going to pop these away. I do have some extra bottles for this. I just took some out when I kitted him up so that I could move, you know, move more freely and grab the bottles a little bit easier. But that is him done and dusted. Thank you everybody so much for joining me both in the advent and of course for this video. Have an absolutely amazing day and I'll speak to you all again soon.